is Arts Alive. I'm Linda Philippi, and my guest in this segment is Mike Santanay. And Mike has been around the community for a long time, and he's a very multifaceted individual. Welcome. Hi. Hi. I'm glad to be back. Yeah, I mean, you do, you know, filmmaking, and you do all kinds of fun stuff, but today we're going to talk about your pottery, yeah. huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, been potting for, oh, 20 some years. Mm -hmm. I took uh, classes at the College of Arts and Crafts, which is on Burnside, uh, as a way to stay sane mm -hmm. from, from my job. And then when I retired, it was like, hey, I can be sane all the time. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I make, yeah. I, I've been uh, going into the schools and doing demos, uh, make, mm -hmm. mask making. Mostly is what I do, but I've been trying to expand out and okay. do other kinds of hand building uh, and and wheel throwing and mm -hmm. and those kinds of things that that uh, I I have classes. I have some students, adult students oh, that come great. in and okay. and uh, I've had classes. At, I have a nice big studio. It's uh, yes, you do. It's what thirty six by twenty four. Mm -hmm. It's a four car garage. It's really big and uh, all dedicated to clay. So I have, uh, I've had uh, private schools come in, homeschool. Oh, uh, that's great. I even had some Boy Scouts. Oh, interesting. Come in and okay. do their Boy Scout badge. Clay thing. badge. <laughs> clay badge. Yeah. Um, so it's, 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 it's good. The, the Art Harbor Studio Tour is one of the n nice things that we do every, I've been doing from, I think, 2004. Okay. I started 2005. Maybe mm -hmm. I can't remember. So long, long ago. Yeah, the years just pile up, don't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but so the tour, which is coming up, mm -hmm. yeah, October 5th, 6th, and 7th, and then the following weekend. Um, and we and I do demos there, and we sometimes well there'll be often people come through as um, as groups. Mm -hmm. You know, ten people, and 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 so with that many people, it's it's nice to be able to do a de demonstration. Sure. Uh, unlike Liz, I clay isn't such that you can just give somebody something, oh, something to work on, and then walk out with. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Or it would be like a big, mm -hmm. you know, the kids say, "Can I have some?" You know, none on the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, you know, clay is just too tempting. Oh you know, yeah. But um, but doing demos and s seeing how things are made, uh, th that's a, that's nice, and people people like to see how because clay's got a magic to them. It, it, when it's when it's wet, it's like it's alive, mm -hmm. and it, and it it well, it is alive. It's the earth, right? It is the earth, mm -hmm. and and so seeing one of the reaffirming things about the tour is. I take for granted being able to produce stuff, mm -hmm. but then when I do it in front of people and they they see uh, something come mm -hmm. from nothing, from just a slab mm -hmm. of clay into a, a being of some kind that they mm -hmm. can recognize, uh, that aha moment for is as much for me as it is. I mean, they they have a a learning experience, but I sure. also it's like wow. It's that, great. That's very cool. Well, and you know, you think about it. You originally started as a way to detox from your stressful job, but mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're kids or adults, whatever you're doing, lives are stressful. And somehow mm. just working with your hands and, I mean, it, clay feels good. It's yeah. soft. It's gushy. It, it just <laughs> feels good. So, I mean, I, I, I know kids just love that. Oh, I can't yeah. imagine that adults wouldn't love it too. Oh, they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a, a lot of, a lot of, um, uh, people come through that, that they've had a little bit of experience mm -hmm. with. Oh, it's just, you know, the the tour is a self selected tour. So, sure. So people who have a little bit of interest in clay, uh, they're the ones gravitate, gravitate to come sure. by. And, and and with Liz and I, we're only thirty feet apart. They get a twofer because mm -hmm. then they can go find out about felt. And if they're coming to Liz's place because of felt, they can go come over and. And find out about clay. So and it's, it's interesting really... that you both do something with your hands that's absolutely so tactile and so you know interactive like that. It's not just I mean painting is, but you're not getting your hands gushy in the paint necessarily. It's interesting that you both do, uh, you know, use a medium like that, 
but that you do such different things. Yeah. Well, and we're going to see a, a picture where we do some collaborations. Mm -hmm. And uh, I brought uh, an image of one of the collaborations. Okay. Well, maybe maybe Paul can put it up for us. Mr. Okay. Music. That that's just one of my uh, wolf masks. Okay. Uh, I got a commission to do a wolf, mm. and this is a mask on the way to try to figure out <laughs> wolfness. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and An early character study. And it wasn't, yeah, it really wasn't very wolfy, <laughs> okay. but, but it was on its way. I like it, yeah. And it's the way I, I uh, you know, uh, basically play, mm -hmm. you know, and just kind of let things come out. See, okay, I think kind the of a next, method potter. Yeah. <laughs> Feel your way into the character. Okay, the next image, I believe, there is um, oh now that is a bird that I made, and the leg broke off. Oh, and so it I was like going to throw it away. Mm -hmm. And Elizabeth said, "Oh no, let me let me see if I can I can fix it." And so she felted a prosthetic. I love it. Leg. On there. Oh, that's fabulous. And uh, and so that started us. We've done a number of different. Um, collaborations mm -hmm. where I, a fat, um, she's made a hat that she was going to throw away and I said, oh no, no, and I put a face in it mm -hmm. um, and other kinds of things. I, this is a, um, outside of Durango, Colorado. Mm -hmm. I have a, 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 a lady who sends masks to her brother who lives in Colorado and he places them. It's probably going to drive the anthropologists crazy. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> What but he places this? them in, in this arroyo on on his property in uh, outside of Durango, Colorado, in in little out of little, the way places. Little places. Oh, and that's so fabulous! You walk down through this through mm -hmm. this gorge, and there are my masks looking out at you. You know that's true. Someday an anthropologist will say, "Well, this tribe must have been related to that <laughs> that tribe in Carlton, <laughs> yeah. Carlton, Oregon, Absolutely. the site of an ancient dig." <laughs> And here's another bird. I do lots of uh, lots of bird masks, lot, and that's an owl. Yeah. Oh, I like that. And uh, um, do you have owls on your property? Yes. Because they, Liz does the yes. hats, and you've done, done the masks. No, there's they, a little they, bit of a theme they're, here. They're they're of, of a night. Oh, okay. Oh, you can hear them. They, mm -hmm. There's a, a a higher pitched one and a lower pitched one, mm -hmm. and they actually talk back and forth. Mm -hmm. Have you heard them? Uh, I mean, yeah, we have them where we live too. We that's have owls. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I I make a lot of different kinds of birds. They're not necessarily very representative, you know. They're just kind of fanciful, fanciful, whimsical. Whimsical. I love bird. it. Well, that definitely looks like an owl. And then I also do some garden sculptures. That's okay. a sculpture in our garden. That's great. Um, that's about uh, six feet. How does pot pottery hold up outside? Well, it depends on what kind of clay. That's a mm -hmm. high fire clay, so it's like stone about pottery, yeah. four or five years old now. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so it it depends on the kind of clay, the kind of glaze. No, is it high. is this porcelain? No. Okay. This this is stoneware. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like porcelain. You don't. It it it's slimy. Slimy. Yeah. It is slimy. I've heard, I've heard people say that. And it's very difficult mm -hmm. to work with, um, and and. So I, the stoneware is much more forgiving. And, and so this is also, now this looks like you've experimented with some glazing. Yes. Uh -huh. Really nice, interesting. Yeah, and I do a lot of experimenting with glazes. Mm -hmm. And this is really nice, this hand-built piece. Yeah, the, the hand-built, and these also, I have some that are vases mm -hmm. and some that are planters. Okay. And this one I made for kitchen utensils. I like it. Um, but... You know, the thing about clay pottery is that you can you can make fanciful things and 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 things for decorative, mm -hmm. you know. But you can also make things that are useful and and that you can just live with, that that you can actually use. Now, what do you tell people about this? Do you tell them don't put it through the dishwasher, or is it okay? No, no, they're dishwasher they're safe. The dish. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah, this is a this is a a, a high calcium. Um, glaze and uh, stoneware, stoneware, high fire, and we use them. I use them and put them through the dishwasher. It's, what it's but clay dishwasher is hard because it isn't a, so much that it'll dissolve the stuff, but things get banged around. Oh yeah, and they chip. 
And also, too, this the this, so, this dishwasher soap, is, it isn't, it's hard on them, right? Well, it's yeah, yeah, after a while, I mm -hmm. suppose, but yeah. that isn't the problem. For mm -hmm. What usually happens is they get banged around, mm -hmm. and then you, once you have a chip, then then it's... it's yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not so good. Well, I can actually, I, if I have a chip, I can go reglaze it and fire it again. <laughs> You got that little service. Yeah, I repair can just, your teacups. I can. I can I love refire it. them, and and that's the other thing I I wind up doing is uh, if I don't like the first firing, I fire it until it. I either throw it away, or I like it. Or so something might have two or three glazes on it till you get it right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Now something like this. Did you did you choose how that was going to look, or did you just kind of experiment to see what mm -hmm. would happen? Experiment. What I do is mm -hmm. I have uh, some of these are from commercial glazes, uh, the different colors. I mix up glazes on purpose to never be able to reproduce them. Okay, so everybody gets a one of a kind piece. They're going to be one of a mm -hmm. kind, except for things like this. They're, right, but Rel even these, relatively match. Yeah, even these are are all a little bit different, mm -hmm. um, and that's just my own aesthetic of. Wanting to have variety, yeah, and and those kinds yeah, of things. individual things, yeah. That's a, that's really really nice, yeah. It seems like you've really branched out a lot over the years in terms of what you do. Well, yeah, the the clay. Uh, I make brushes um, from roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Um, I knew that was going to come in somewhere. Yeah, I thought I'd mention that. Oh, perfect. It, um, actually, not really. Usually, I I get the the bucktail and those things from okay. a fly tying shop. Oh, okay. And use bamboo and other kinds of things. And you make things. your own, own paint brushes? Yeah. And then do you use that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. I make the brushes, uh, various kinds, and they're they're fun to make. And and I usually have a bunch of them there uh, mm -hmm. to people to look at, but I use them. That's pretty yeah. amazing. Uh, well, I use co commercial ones too, but, but it's fun to make them. It's just fun to make your own. Yeah. The elk and... Uh, and deer, primarily deer tail, and and those kinds of things. Do you find that different kinds of, of hair brushes provide different kinds of texture? Yes, I'm surprised that painters don't make their own brushes, because uh, uh, potters have been making their brushes for you know for a long time because the brush gives a unique mark. Mm -hmm. So when you know if you're decorating on a on a surface like this mm -hmm. and you have a, a, a brush that's got a real long narrow strands of hair mm -hmm. kind of wispy you get a different mm -hmm. mark every every brush has got its own individual mark like if it's know. short stubby little hairs yeah. that's going to do a stiffer stiffer brush and mm -hmm. yeah okay and, and you can make them so I have a couple that that once they get anything on them they they go into a, like a four mm-hmm and then you this run across. This wisp across. Yeah. So oh, that, that's, that's really fun. How fun. I love uh, it. Yeah, it, it's, it's nice to be able to, to make your own tools. I, you, I do bam, make some bamboo tools and, and some of those things too. And you know, especially with what you do, I'm, I'm sure you've probably inspired people to get inventive with clay. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I go to Mac High and volunteer there. I uh, used to volunteer at uh, YC, Yamhill Carlton High, mm -hmm. uh, maybe again this year. Great. Um, and, you know, go in, do demos. Sure. And also, you know, uh, work with kids in a more, mm, more regular basis. It's too bad more people don't go in to the, to the schools mm -hmm. and, and stuff and, uh, and not just complain about how expensive they are and yeah, how exactly. bad they are. When... They really make need a difference. They need it. They need people to come in and, mm -hmm. and share true. what they can, what they do. And kids eat it up. They love it. Well, Mike, I really want to say thank you today. And sadly, we're out of time. But wishing you all the best with your with your show, the tour. And we'll talk to you soon. Okay.